everyone, it's Rebecca McAdam for Car Player TV and it's day two of the 10k heads up. 64 players start the day, however only 32 will make the money. Well if you remember yesterday, we told you how Phil Ivey was at one point multi-tabling three WSOP events. Well he busted from one yesterday, the 5k No Limit Hold'em 6 max event, and today he arranged to play his heads up match against Keto Fam early, but unfortunately busted out, leaving him with just the $2500 buy in Pot Limit Omaha Pot Limit Hold'em event. The bad news is, however, that he was soon making his exit from that event also, finishing in 12th place. And here are some of the latest marquee matchups and the results from the 10k heads up. David Williams took on and defeated LAPC heads up champ Chris Moore. Phil Gordon beat two time bracelet winner Brock Parker. While Terence Chan fell at the hands of Vanessa Rousseau. Elsewhere, Gavin Smith beat Gabe Kaplan. And finally, 2010 World Series cashing ninja Vladimir Shemelev proved no match for young British pro Chris Moorman and was eliminated in dramatic fashion. We caught up with Chris after the two faced off. Um, yeah, it was pretty early on in the match. I think I've won a couple of pots, but um, it was pretty even. And then uh, my opponent, the guy, the Russian guy, got second in 50k A game. He made it 3,000 uh, on the bun. I called the pocket threes in the big blind. Uh, the flop was jack 9 3 with a flush draw. Uh, I check raised 4,000 to 11. He called. Turn was like a 10, so like, and brought another flush draw, so the ball was getting pretty dangerous. And uh, I was a little bit worried about King Queen, but obviously I'm not going anywhere. I bet 17,000. Uh, 17, and he just shoved all in for a big overshove, and obviously I snap called. And uh, he had turned a higher set of tens, and I thought I was bubbling, and uh, dreams were over, and then suddenly the dealer just pulled out for free on the river. So that's pretty sick, really. And do you know who you're going to play next? It's either Sorrell, Sorrell Mitzi, or his opponent. I don't know his opponent, but he's, he seems to know like Sorrell, so he's obviously a good player as well. So, I mean, every, every match from now here on in is tough anyway, so. So how's the series been going for you so far? Yeah, not too bad. I've like had a couple of deep runs, got 50th in the 2.5k6 max and 59th in the in one of the 1500s. But other than that, not much. So I was about even so far. I haven't played that many events because I haven't been playing all the other games and stuff. And um, But I've been backing a guy, uh, James Dempsey, who won a bracelet and got second in uh, the 10k Omar 8. So it's been going pretty well because I've obviously had a big percentage of that. So it's not been going too bad. We'll be bringing you more updates as the World Series of Poker 2010 continues, so stay with carplayer.com. I'm Rebecca McAdam for CarPlayer TV.